Welcome to the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. We've got a fast-paced hour of fishing, hunting, and conservation covering the nation and the Northwest, including 13 extra minutes of local content you'll only hear on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. It's Saturday morning, and we've got a couple of great guides that we're talking to today, both of whom I had the opportunity to spend time with last week at Ed Iman's famous fish camp in the Columbia River Gorge. Bruce Warren, the owner of Fishing for Fun Guide Service, will join us at the half-hour mark to tell you how to catch and release big sturgeon below the John Day Dam, and then Aaron Peterson, the owner of Peterson's Northwest Guide Service, will tell you about the guided duck and goose hunting he's offering on leased land in Snohomish and Skagit counties this fall. But first, it's time to tell you, as we do every week, what's hot. Right here in the Pacific Northwest, brought to you by your Puget Sound area sportsman's warehouse stores, where the coho derby continues. Just bring in your fresh coho salmon to the Silverdale, Federal Way, or Everett stores. Get it weighed, get it photographed, and enter it for a chance to win some serious gift cards from America's premier outfitter. We're going to start things off with the shooting sports because pheasant hunting is hot in western Washington at wildlife areas where these birds are being released. The regular season for these big, tasty, and colorful birds opens today, as did quail season in western Washington. The youth waterfowl hunt is also a hot option in eastern Washington, and you can be sure there are a bunch of kids with their parents or mentors gunning for ducks in the Columbia Basin and stopping in at Mardon Resort for lunch after they're done. That includes me because I'm taking my daughter out for this opportunity today. If you ever go fishing out of Westport, you should always buy a derby ticket before you hop on your charter boat because you just might win some big money if you do. With that in mind, here are the prize winners from this year's Westport Charter Boat Association Derby. The $10,000 grand prize went to Masaru Tahara of Seattle. He caught a 26-plus pound Chinook salmon fishing with Gold Rush charters this summer. $1,500 went to Tim O'Farrell of Jacksonville, Florida. He caught a 13-plus pound coho salmon on August 18th, fishing on board the Stardust owned by Deep Sea Charters. And $1,000 went to Suzanne Connolly of Colville. She was fishing with Westport charters in June when she caught a 105-pound halibut. And there is still... Still time to get in on the action because $1,500 will be awarded at the end of October for the largest lingcod and $1,000 for the largest albacore tuna caught this season. Heading south, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife reports fall Chinook are in the bay in moderate numbers, and fishing has been fair in both the upper and lower bays. The peak of the run is coming. It's probably a good time to head down there if you do. Try trolling herring in the lower bay and spinners in the upper bay. And finally, checking in with NorthwestFisherReports.com, Willie Ten posted that he's been fishing the Columbia River below Priest Rapids Dam near Vernita and posted that he picked up several fall Chinook salmon in four days of fishing. He's not alone either. With the Columbia River closed below the Tri-Cities for salmon, the waters around the Vernita Bridge have become a very popular place for guides and weekend anglers alike, and many of those anglers managed to get their one fish limit over the last week. So there you go. Now you know what's hot right here in the Pacific Northwest. That's your first local shot of the outdoors. Now let's see what's going on across the nation. This year, go duck and goose hunting without the hassle and do so with Peterson's Northwest Guide Service. Aaron Peterson is offering guided hunts for puddle ducks as well as snow geese on leased lands in Skagit and Snohomish counties. That's right, you don't have to rush to the public land hotspot at 2 a.m. or drive over the pass. You can enjoy quality hunting without the crowds with top-notch guides within an hour of Seattle. Book your trip now at petersonsnorthwest.com. That's petersonsnorthwest.com for a great day of hunting. NorthwestFishingReports.com is the Northwest's largest fishing reports website, featuring well over 50,000 fishing reports, videos, articles, and more, all 100% free. Catch more fish with Northwest Fishing Reports. Log on today. 
Ready for more local fishing and hunting? You got it. It's the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. Right here on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. Our fish camp edition continues, and we're checking in with Bruce Warren. He is a pro staffer for Max Lure Company and the owner of Fishing for Fun Guide Service. This week at fish camp, he's been taking people fishing for sturgeon in the Columbia River Gorge. Bruce, great to have you on the show again. Well, thanks, John. Appreciate it. You've been fishing the last three days. How's the sturgeon fishing been right below John Day Dam? It's been pretty good the last three days, John. We've been getting two or three to the boat a day, We're getting several bites. There's lots of sturgeon out there to be had, and we're enjoying it. It's fun. I know you've gotten several over five feet, and I understand today you had one so big that you never saw it. Nope, it grabbed the bait, and it decided it didn't want to be near the boat and didn't want to play that well. So it took off, and unfortunately we had a little mishap with the reel, and it just snapped the line, and away she went. Well, folks, there are some really big sturgeon up here. As a matter of fact, uh, one fish camp, an 11-footer was caught. How are you catching these sturgeon? Sturgeon fishing, unlike a lot of things you can use on artificial for, sturgeon is a bait show. We're using some fresh salmon pieces. We're also using roll mop herring, sand shrimp, night crawlers, any fresh bait right now. We'll be able to get you bites. How much weight do you need? And I know it's all current dependent, but where do you start? And then how much leader? beyond that and what kind of hook i'm running about a 10 ounce lead and i like the cannonballs up here because we have more rocks up here so if you use a pyramid like we use in the lower river it will get hung up more leader length we're using a 36 inch leader we're using dacron you can use monofilament but i recommend the dacron up here it doesn't hurt the fish as bad because it doesn't cut them when that fish rolls hooks anywhere from a five aught up to about a nine aught depending on what really size you're looking for a good all-around hook is a six or a seven or even an eight aught Well, there you go. You know what you need to catch sturgeon and release them right here below John Day Dam. And Bruce will take you fishing for sturgeon, both catch and release fishing, and when it's open, catch and keep fishing in the lower Columbia River, too. What's the website, Bruce? Fishingforfunguideservice.com. That's fishingforfunguideservice.com. Bruce has been doing this for a while. You'll have a lot of fun, and you'll catch some fish, too. Thanks, Bruce. You bet. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. I'm Bob Loomis and I fish for walleye. Sometimes when I'm out on the water I feel like a destroyer captain hunting for targets with my electronics. I'm not hunting submarines though, I'm hunting fish. And when I find that big one on the fish finder, I want to make sure she's going to bite. That's where the Smile Blade Slow Death Rig from Max Lure comes in. The Smile Blade spins and flashes at ultra slow speeds and the one of a kind red hook keeps that bait moving in a way the fish can't resist. It's the Smile Blade Slow Death Rig. You're the destroyer, this is your depth charge. Only from Max Lure. Don't leave yet. We've got one more local shot of fishing and hunting to wrap up the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. Next on America Outdoors Radio, we're welcoming Aaron Peterson back. He is the owner of Peterson's Northwest, and usually we talk fishing. But, Aaron, you are transitioning. You are shifting gears. You're going hunting this fall, aren't you? Yeah, John. Thanks for having me on the radio. You are, in particular, going waterfowl hunting, and you're taking clients up in the North Sound. Are we talking Skagit County here? Yeah, Snohomish and Skagit Counties, the Pacific Flyway. Let's talk about guided hunts in northwest Washington versus guided hunts in eastern Washington or do-it-yourself hunts. Why is yours maybe a better deal and more convenient? Uh, Well, John, we just kind of push that uh, you're not driving over the passes in the middle of winter and staying in hotels when you don't want to stay in hotels. You're within an hour and a half of Seattle, and you're not waking up at 2 a.m. and uh, getting into a rush for the spot. And we offer multiple places to hunt. So the places you have to hunt, I'm assuming this is leased land. You're not going to have competition from other hunters? Yeah, John, we offer everything from blinds to boat to potato fields, corn, ponds. We have kind of all the kind of cover you can think of to hunt. When I think of Skagit County and I go back to my youth, I think of two things. Number one, like you said, you got to get there really early because there's limited public land available and there's not a lot of good spots. So with your lease lands, you solve that. Number two, I think of the potential for outstanding snow goose hunting and very good mallard hunting too. Yeah, some of the spots we offer are phenomenal bay edge, flooded fields, fresh cut fields. Uh, The potato fields can just be amazing duck hunting all right what are your rates 
rates right now are $200 a head for duck and 250 a head for geese. That is very reasonable, folks. You're not going to find lower prices on the east side. And, and like you said, I love the convenience part. With your hunt, you can do it in a day. Correct. Yep. It's very convenient. Back at home in your own bed. Well, the website to find out more and book a hunt is petersonsnorthwest.com. That's petersonsnorthwest.com, offering duck and goose hunting in northwest Washington this fall and this winter. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks for having me, John. That's all for this week, but don't worry. We'll do it all again next Saturday morning from 7 to 8, right here on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. Backcountry Hunters and Anglers seeks to ensure North America's outdoor heritage of hunting and fishing through education and work on behalf of public lands and waters. Lend your voice to the fight today by visiting backcountryhunters.org or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.